Is that Billy Connolly? Or is it just somebody with his exact voice and accent? Tangile. This is madness! It is. You're about to have orcs. Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that at all. It's very clever, though. I don't like this. I don't like the dwarves. I mean, I know the, the elves can be RC, especially this lot, but... Yeah, you're fanning around with each other and just bloody orcs are coming. Oh, nice. Followed by orcs, no doubt. Bollocks. The horns of hell are yeah, you're gonna have to start fighting together. I'm going over the wall. Who's coming with me? I was gonna say. Are we to do nothing? I said, stand down! Is this a good place to stand? Sure, dog! Sure, boo! What sort of war beasts are we talking about here? Oh, God. Oh, dear. Ooh. God, Dora's That's kind of cool how they're signalling to the army with that thing. I mean, I'm guessing that's what they're doing. Azog. He's trying to cut us off. Oh, good. Hello. All back to dance! No! Shit. Why's he got a rock attached to his back? <laughs> I mean, there's a... I mean, the, the elf king may be a bit of a tit at times, but at least he's actually fighting. Oh, don't destroy the city. Follow me! He's gonna die. Oh god, hello. No, 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 don't kill him. God of War. It's like the thingies on God of War. When you ride on their back and control them. The troll things. <laughs> that was very nice. Oh, that isn't very nice. Shit. The bloody elf effect. <laughs> Where's Thorin? Being a twat. Since when do we forsake our own people? Thorin, they are dying out there. There are holes beneath holes within this mountain. Places we can fortify. Shore up, make safe. I think you're safe enough as you are. We must move the gold further underground to safety. I know it's the dragon disease or whatever it is, but... Is this treasure truly worth more than your honor? I am not my grandfather.
Are you back? I will not hide behind a wall of stone while others fight our battles for us! That's right, Keely, you say it. It is not in my blood, Thorin. No. It is not. We are sons of Durin. And Durin's folk do not flee from a fight. I have no right to ask this of any of you. But will you follow me one last time? Now if you could just keep your promise to Dale and the elves, that would be also very lovely, thank you. Oh, that's a like a siege thing on his back. What's he got planned? Oh, hello! Shit. It doesn't seem like it's very good. Now we just need the elves to come back or join in or do whatever it is. Good grief. I mean, okay, yes, that's fine. You hit those people. What took you so long? There's too many of these buggers, Thorin. I hope you've got a plan. Aye. We're going to take out their leader. Azog. I'm gonna kill that piece of filth. Thorin, you cannot do this. You're our king. That is why I must do it. It's been a while since I've done this. Ah! Right with him! Oh, Jack! Oh, my bastards! a bit gross. Oh god. Oh, hello. Gandalf, be careful. Oh god, the staff is a bit weird, isn't it? Expecting that at all. Oh, yay! Legolas and thingy. 
Nicholas Greenleaf. There is a second army. They are almost upon us. This was their plan all along. Arthur engages our forces, then Bolg sweeps in from the north. Shit. That's exactly where the others are gone. And Philly and Killy, they're all up there. Nose is itching. Where is he? It looks empty. It's not going to be empty in a minute. I think Azog has fled. No. I don't think so. He's joined the others. Philly, take your brother. Scout out the towers. Keep low and out of sight. If you see something, report back. Do not engage, do you understand? My lord! The dwarves are about to be overrun. Thorin must be warned. I've spent enough elvish blood in defense of this accursed land. No more. I'll go. Don't be ridiculous. Why not? Because they will see you coming and kill you. No, they won't. He's got his ring. It's out of the question. I won't allow it. I'm not asking you to allow it, Gandalf. What is that old filth? Thorin! Bilbo! You have to leave here, now! Azog has another army attacking from the north. This watchtower will be completely surrounded. There'll be no way out. This is a trap. Find Philly and Killy. Call them back. Thorin, are you sure about this? Do it. I mean, that's one way to get up there, I suppose. Glass is always doing like really crazy stuff, isn't he? Ow! She's going to die, isn't she? No, he can't die. Shit. Legolas? Oh, no. 
voice. Grab it. Thank you. I was hoping he grabbed the stall before he fell off. <laughs> now you need to save Legolas. Oh god. Oh god. Bollocks. Is this Gandalf's eagles? Oh, it's him, Radagast. Hello. Kill the bear, bear, bird, bear. God, I didn't expect this one to be so emotional. <laughs> oh, God. Really? It's <laughs> like a big stab. Is he still alive? No, no, no. Don't move. Don't move. Lie still. Oh. I wish to part from you in French. No. You are not going anywhere, Thorin. You're going to live. I will take back my word and my deed to the gate. You did what only a true friend would do. Forgive me. I am so sorry that I have led you into such peril. <coughs> For one, Master Burglar, plant your trees. Watch them grow. <coughs> No, 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 Thorin. The eagle. The eagle. The eagle. Thorin. I cannot go back. Where will you go? I do not know. Go north. Find the Dunedain. There's a young ranger amongst them. You should meet him. His father, Arathon, was a good man. His son might grow to be a great one. Aragorn. He is known in the wild as Strider. Legolas. Your mother loved you more than anyone. The 
king is dead. Long live the king! Long live the king! That is Billy Connolly, isn't it? I'm sure it is. Songs will be sung, tales will be told, for an oaken shield will pass into legend. I know that's how you must honour him, but to me he was never that. He was... Well, I think I'll slip quietly away. Will you tell the others I said goodbye? You can tell them yourself. <sighs> Fuck's sake. <sighs> My face would stop leaking. <sighs> Borders of the Shire. It's here I must leave you. That's a shame. I quite like having a wizard around. Seems they bring good luck. You don't really suppose, do you, that all your adventures and escapes were managed by yeah, luck? Magic rings should not be used lightly, but well, I know you found one no. in the goblin tunnels, and I've kept my eye on you ever since. Well, thank goodness. You needn't worry about that ring. It fell out of my pocket during the battle. I lost it. You're a very fine person, Mr. Baggins. But a shit liar. But you're only quite a little fellow in a wide world, after all. Any rats on 21? Any rats on 21? <laughs> Sold to Mrs. Bolger! Somewhere for Fatty to put his feet on. Stop! There's been a mistake! Oh, yeah. This is my home! Can you prove it? Yeah. A contract of employment as I have ever... Who is this person you pledged your service to? Foreign Orkenshield. He was my friend. Bastards. No, thank you. We don't want any more visitors, well-wishers, or distant relations. And what about very old friends? Okay, so right off the bat, I will say I did not expect <laughs> that movie to be quite as emotional as it was. I wasn't prepared for the deaths that we got in that one at all. I, I just assumed that everybody would come out of it alive and everybody would be living happily ever after. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite different to the other two films. Like, it, it does it right from the start as well. With the dragon coming to Lake Town, I assumed... It would fly around a few times and be all threatening and Bard would shoot it before it actually did any damage or much damage. But the fact that the dragon just came straight in and set fire to the entire place, like within minutes. And obviously Bard did shoot it down like I thought he would. But good God. <laughs> like I said, I was expecting him to save the town and he didn't. I mean, he saved the people, or most of the people, or a lot of the people. And it's, like I said, during the reaction, it actually stopped the dragon from obviously going off and destroying anywhere else, which is obviously a good thing. But yeah, I didn't see the town getting absolutely destroyed like that. So that was the first shock, or the first indication that this movie wasn't going to be quite as gentle as the other two. But yeah, as you could probably tell during the reaction, Thorin was really annoying me. <laughs> this film he's annoyed me quite a bit in the other films as well but i was kind of coming around to him a little bit but um yeah he was just the way he, he was hiding in the mountain and just being a knob basically <laughs> the battle itself i really enjoyed i thought it was really well done i mean i i came up it was in comments to some of the other films but i'd seen people mention that the battle was quite cgi'd 
which you can see because the formations, like for example, the formations of the elves and the dwarves and everything, it just looked too perfect. And obviously a lot, like some of the movements and some of the actual things that happened were probably CGI'd as well. But honestly, it didn't ruin it for me at all. I mean, there were a couple of bits in it that were, that were pretty far-fetched, but then it's a fantasy world where orcs and dragons and everything else is a thing. So it's kind of fine, I think. But then obviously, you know, the battle was quite fun in a lot of ways. And then we had the bits that weren't as fun, like Keeley dying. And obviously his brother died as well. And I can't remember his brother's name, but I'd grown quite fond of Keeley. Bizarrely, I don't know, maybe it's because he looked the most human of the dwarves. I'm not sure. But I was actually very sad that he died, as you could probably tell. <laughs> Um, I thought the romance between him and the elf was a bit cheesy, but even so, I was very upset when he died and they couldn't be together. And obviously, yeah, that was that wasn't good at all. And Thorin dying, I did not expect. Although it does make a lot of sense that he would, honestly, because after everything he did, I'm not sure he could have lived with himself. I mean, if it was me and I'd been hiding inside my walls and caused a lot of people to die. Because he's basically caused all this by... Or actually, I suppose, thinking about it, Gandalf caused all this by telling him to go and retake Erebor. But it was kind of his fault that it all happened in the first place. Which, you know, it's fine. That was his destiny. That's what he was supposed to do. But the, to then hide in the mountain and do nothing was just like... Ooh. So I think it's probably the cleanest ending for him. Because I, I don't know that he would have been able to be king after that. Just, it wouldn't have sat right, I don't think. But I'm not actually mad at that ending at all. Though I was actually quite surprised how much Thorin's death got to me as well. Considering I spent most of this film just being angry at him. <laughs> but I think the thing that really got to me was when Bilbo was there. It's going to get to me now. But the bit when Thorin died and Bilbo was trying to reassure him by telling him that the eagles were here. And it was just like... Just thinking about it now just absolutely kills me. <laughs> but yeah, really, really good. And I loved the like the little tie-ins to Lord of the Rings. I mean, obviously there's a lot of tie-ins to Lord of the Rings because it's the prequel. But like when the elf king, I can't remember his name, but Legolas's dad, when he told Legolas to look for Strider or Aragorn, I thought that was good. And there's other bits as well. And I am going to mention this now. I didn't during the reaction, just because I know how much it angered people when I mentioned it during my Fellowship of the Ring reaction. But th these movies in particular have been really good for seeing where the Rings of Power got a lot of its ideas from. Now, I realise that the Rings of Power isn't everybody's cup of tea. I totally get that. And as I said at the beginning of my Fellowship of the Ring reaction which apparently a lot of people decided to ignore. I have watched the film, like the, I had watched the Lord of the Rings films years ago and I have read the books. The Rings of Power was not my first experience with Middle-earth, which a lot of people seem to think it was and decided that they needed to correct me on all these things that were wrong with it. And it was just like, I know, but there we go. But yeah, getting all that off my chest. I quite liked The Rings of Power. As somebody who's not a massive Tolkien fan, that's not to say I don't like Tolkien, I don't like Lord of the Rings, because I do. But it's been so many, or it had been so many years since I'd read the books or watched the films. I was that far removed from it that when I watched The Rings of Power, there was a lot of stuff I'd forgotten from the original source material. So it wasn't so blasphemous. <laughs> for lack of a better word. I don't know. It wasn't so upsetting for me, I suppose. I just kind of took it for what it was. And from what I understand, The Rings of Power was only allowed to use these movies as the as a source. It couldn't use anything that wasn't included in the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy, like the films I'm talking about here. So obviously the Lord of the Rings 
cleared up a lot, not cleared up a lot of stuff because I had known it before, but it reminded me of the stuff I'd forgotten and that I'd kind of started picking up in the Rings of Power and it just kind of allowed me to connect the dots, basically. Oh, that, that's where that came from or that's where they got the idea for that or whatever. But these movies allow me to connect more of those dots, I think. Like the whole divide between the elves and the dwarves that we see in the Rings of Power, they obviously got the idea of that from this. And also the elf king mentioning the the like the white gems that he wanted from the mountain. And obviously in Rings of Power, it was Mithril. The the dwarves had discovered Mithril and were mining it, and the elves wanted it because it was some sort of thing. It had some sort of power or something. Which again, obviously sort of quite far fetched and obviously very much removed from the actual canon stuff. But considering it was the rings of power that made me jump back into Middle Earth, it's kind of nice to be able to see where that show got some of its inspiration from. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that just because I just I I did find those those kind of bits that I could then connect back to the show quite interesting. But yeah, I suppose to round this off, I think out of the three films, it's a really tough one. I'm trying to remember. It's, it's all a bit of a jumble because I've, I've obviously watched them quite fast, but then I've edited them as well. And it's trying to remember which one's which. But I think just going off my gut now, and it might change completely on a rewatch. I think the second film, The Desolation of Smaug, 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 the dragon. I think the second film is probably my favorite i'm not sure is 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 the second film or this one although hmm, it's difficult i don't know i'm really crap at ranking things <laughs> although i would like to do it more honestly on this channel like when i get to the end of seasons and things for characters or different films or whatever but no it has been fun so if you've enjoyed this reaction don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and if you want to check out the full-length version you can find the link to my patreon in the description below Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.